Hey everyone, and welcome back to Then and Now. Today we are going to be talking about the Sandlot cast and where they are today. Make sure you stay until the end as you don't want to miss out on where some of these actors are today. Don't forget to turn on post notifications, like, and subscribe to our channel. The Sandlot is the classic 1993 film that follows fifth grader Scotty Smalls. What a jerk. Who moves to San Fernando Valley in 1962. As he attempts to make new friends, he is taken under the wings of a local baseball prodigy, Benny Rodriguez. Scotty joins the local baseball team with him, and the movie follows the adventures of this group of kids. Let's take a look at where these youngsters are today. Brandon Adams, Kenny De Nunez. The year before Adams starred in The Sandlot, he was in the popular Disney sports movie, The Mighty Ducks. Get it, cake eater. You wanna play? Play with yourself. Which resulted in him receiving a Young Artist Award nomination. In 1994, Adams returned to his character Jesse Hall in D2 The Mighty Ducks. He also starred in other movies such as Ghost in the Machine, Beyond Desire, and MacArthur Park. Adams also made some guest appearances in TV shows such as Boy Meets World and Sister Sister, and voiced Rai in the 2005 video game Kingdom Hearts 2. His most recent acting credits come from the 2012 film Stuck in the Corners, where Adams played Mike. Currently, he is a rapper under the stage name B. Lee and age 41. Chauncey Leopardi, Michael Squints Paladoras. Squints is best known for his scene in the swimming pool, where he fakes drowning to kiss the lifeguard. After The Sandlot, Leopardi made some appearances in movies and television shows such as Barney and Friends, Boy Meets World, Casper, The Paper Brigade, Seventh Heaven, Walker, Texas Ranger, and Gilmore Girls. He also returned to his roots and played Squints again in the 2007 direct-to-video movie The Sandlot Heading Home. In 2019, Lepardo appeared in Logic and Eminem's music video Homicide. The 39-year-old is a dad to three children, Paige, Shy, and Chance. Grant Gelt, Bertram Grover Weeks. Following The Sandlot, Gilt went on to appear in some projects such as Saved by the Bell, The New Class, Empty Nest, Mutant Species, Boy Meets World, and Hey Arnold. His last acting role was playing Jimmy Dombar in the miniseries The 60s in 1999. Since then, Gilt has gone on to become a music artist manager, most notably for the band Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. He married Melissa Perez in 2014. He's now 40. Marley Shelton, Wendy Peppercorn, Shelton has arguably been the most successful of the Sandlot Bunch. Since being in the classic 1993 movie, she has acted in over 60 projects. She has been in shows such as Sybil, Fantasyland, American Dad, and Eleventh Hour, and popular movies such as Death of a Cheerleader, Take Me Home Again, Never Been Kissed, Uptown Girls, and Heaven Sent. In 2014, she was the lead actress in the Lifetime series The Lottery. Most recently, Shelton appeared on three episodes of Manhunt, where she played Hannah Gray. Prior to this, she appeared in an episode of Dirty John. In 2022, she will return to the big screen by playing Deputy Judy Hicks in the upcoming movie, Scream 5. She's now 46. Marty York, Alan Yaya McLeanan. After The Sandlot, York went on to appear in episodes of Saved by the Bell, The College Years, Boy Meets World, Wings, Duck Man, Sliders, and Hey Arnold. From 1997 to 2010, York left the acting scene, but he returned by playing Michael in the short The Trainer. In 2009, York faced some legal trouble when he was arrested for domestic violence, and he then turned to his fans to help him with legal fees. The 40-year-old is slated to play Maverick in the upcoming film Do Justice, which is currently in the pre-production stage. Mike Vitar, Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Vitar left the acting industry in 1997, only four years after The Sandlot. But before then, he appeared in two Mighty Duck sequels, D2 and D3, in episodes of NYPD Blue and Chicago Hope. After graduating from St. Francis High School in California in 1997, he went on to become a firefighter in Los Angeles. He is married to his wife, Kim, and they have three children. Patrick Reyna, Pam Porter. While The Sandlot was Reina's first film, he has been busy in Hollywood ever since. He has appeared in movies such as Falling Sky, The Secret Life of Girls, 
Recess Schools Out, National Lampoon Presents Dorm Days, and Lifeblood, as well as in episodes of TV shows such as Boy Meets World, The X-Files, ER, Boston Legal, CSI Crime Scene Investigation, and Bones. Most recently, he appeared in the popular Netflix series Glow, where he played Cupcake. Raina and his wife Jasmine have two children. He's now 41. Shane Obed Zizinski, Tommy Repeat Timmons. Obed Zizinski appeared in Clarissa Explains It All and Hidden Fears, both in 1993, before stepping away from Hollywood. He returned to acting to appear in the 2017 short Space Gilla from the Deep. Currently, he owns New York Times Square Pizza Restaurant in Florida. Tom Geary, Scotty Smalls. The New Jersey native is still most well known for his leading role in The Sandlot, but has since been part of many high profile movies and TV shows. In the 90s, he appeared in various projects including Lassie, The Last Home Run, and Ride with the Devil. In 2002, he made his first appearance on a TV show when he appeared in two episodes of Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Since then, he has appeared in other shows such as Law and Order, CSI Miami, Unforgettable, and Elementary. He also starred in the 2007 NBC drama series, The Black Donnellys. Geary married Janelle Bloodsworth in 2009, and the couple have two sons and a daughter. In August 2013, Tom Geary was arrested at George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas, for allegedly headbutting a police officer after he was told he was too drunk to board a flight. In 2015, he starred as Billy Brother Trapper in The Reverend, and also played the role of Wilson in Brawl in Cell Block 99 in 2017. Tom is now 39 years of age. His next role is in 2021 playing James T. McHugh in the upcoming film Roe vs. Wade, a political legal drama that covers the landmark Supreme Court case. Victor DiMattia, Timmy Timmons. After The Sandlot, DiMattia loaned his voice to the character of Dylan Taylor in the Adventures in Odyssey video shorts. He also starred in the 1994 TV movie, Children of the Dark, and in reoccurring episodes of the TV series, A Peaceful Kingdom. After that, DiMattia took a 13-year hiatus from acting. He returned to acting in the 2018 film, Get Married or Die, where he played Officer Lynham. For the most part, DiMattia's work is usually done behind the scenes now. He has worked as an editor, writer, director, and production assistant in a variety of short films and other projects. And there it is. The Sandlot cast, then and now. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. Tell us which of these actors' transformation is the most shocking. Let us know in the comments down below what your favorite part was. It is crazy how so much has changed since this movie aired. Can you believe Tom Geary allegedly headbutted a police officer? Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. We release videos daily and you are not going to want to miss the next episode.